A UNITED FRONT IN SAN FRANCISCO SPEAKING OUT AGAINST HATEFUL SPEECH TARGETING TWO SCHOOL BOARD MEMBERS, ALLISON COLLINS AND GABRIELA LOPEZ. THERE IS A LINE um, when, it, WHEN WE AREN'T TALKING ABOUT POLICY AND WE START TARGETING PEOPLE, THAT ISN'T SAFE FOR COMMUNITIES OF COLOR AND FOR WOMEN. IT'S SHOWN ME THE STRONG COMMUNITY SUPPORT WE ALL HAVE IN, in THIS UNDERSTANDING THAT WHETHER WE AGREE OR DISAGREE ON POLICIES, WE CANNOT BE TARGETING PEOPLE. MORE THAN A DOZEN ELECT OFFICIALS CAME TOGETHER TO CONDEMN THE SOCIAL MEDIA POSTS CIRCULATING OF THE TWO WOMEN. WE HAVE DECIDED NOT TO SHOW THEM HERE, BUT CAN TELL YOU THEY SHOW SWASTIKAS PHOTOSHOPPED ONTO THEIR FACES AND A GRAPHIC VIDEO OF SOMEONE BURNING THE PICTURE. The posts follow two proposals that were recently voted on by the school board, which include renaming schools that some may find offensive and changing Lowell High's admission policy to a lottery system. But Collins tells me a majority of the board voted in favor of these proposals, yet Lopez and herself, who are both women of color, are the only ones being harassed. We are both consistent in naming race, talking about addressing racism, you know, anti-immigrant practices, like anti-racist teaching. Those are all things that we talk very openly about. We are very vocal and very honest about where we stand, and often that means pointing out to the racism that thrives within our educational system. State Senator Scott Weiner was one of the voices today. He actually disagrees with the board's proposal to focus on renaming schools, but he says disagreeing through hateful speech isn't the way. We can disagree to our hearts delight, and we're very good at that in San Francisco, but the minute it tips into threats and personal attacks, uh, that's when it crosses the line. In San Francisco, Pete Serratos, NBC Bay Area News.